all welcome to simple engineering engineering simplified i am dr neeti peers today we are going to discuss about adder in that we will see half adder and full adder if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing let's move to the video adder an adder is a device that will add together two bits and we will get an output that is your result of the addition of two bits so there are two types of adders one is half adder and full adder so in half adder it will add two bits together and it will give a two bit output for a full adder it adds two inputs and carried an input from another adder and it gives the a two bit output let's see what is a half adder so in half adder the circuit that will add two binary variables but it does not accept carry from any other adder circuit so this is the root table of your half adder and you can see that 0 plus 0 s is your sum and c is your carry so sum of two bits 0 and 0 sum is 0 and carry is 0 if your inputs are 0 and 1 0 plus 1 is 1 and carry is 0 if your inputs are 1 and 0 1 plus 0 is 1 and your carry is 0 and if your two inputs are 1 so in a binary variable 1 plus 1 is 1 0 which means your sum is 0 and you have a carry of 1 so if you take the sum you can see that two bits are 1 its corresponding input is 0 1 and 1 0 so your sum will be 0 means it is a bar b plus you have 1 and 0 that is a b bar so your sum will be a x or b and if you take the carry you have only one bit as 1 which is a and b so your carry will be a and b so this s that is your sum is a x or b and c is your carry which is a into b so a x or b means you have to implement that by using an xor gate and c is equal to a b means which you need a and gate for the implementation next we can see a full adder so full adder is the adder which adds three inputs which adds three inputs and it produces an output which is you will be having two output sum and c not so the first two inputs will be your a and b and the third input is an input carry which is c in so the, your output is given as c not and that is your output carry and your sum is s so this is the two table of your full adder where you have a b so how many combinations of this a b and c in is your inputs three inputs are there so we have eight combinations of input which will start from 0 to 1 1 1 7 that is from 0 to 7 so considering all this your sum 0 plus 0 plus 0 sum will be 0 and your uh, 0 plus next combination is 0 plus 0 plus 1 sum will be 1 and there is no carry if you consider the third combination 0 plus 1 plus 0 which is sum is 1 and there is no carry so here you can see that 0 plus 1 that is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 0 which means that your sum is 0 and you have a carry 1 so same like that here also you can see that whenever two ones are there your sum will be 0 and carry is 1 here you can see for the all your inputs are 1 1 1 1 which is 7 so 1 plus 1 is 1 0 and 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 which means that your sum is 1 and your carry is 1 so for your full adder you have 
the boolean expression for carry c not if you look your true table you can see 1 2 3 4 4 there are four ones in your carry so when you take the carry here it is 1 its corresponding input is a a bar because it is zero a bar b c in and here also your c not is 1 which means that a b bar c in here it is 1 which is a b c in bar here also it is 1 which is a b c in same like that if you take your sum column you can see that 1 2 3 4 bits are 1 its corresponding input you have to write for your sum expression that is the way which you will get your boolean expression so boolean expression for c not is ab plus bc in plus c ac in so that's what it is represented by using and gate and your sum is xor axor bxor c in so this is your logic uh, circuit representing your sum and carry together so it is observed that the truth table c not is equal to 1 for the rows which have two ones otherwise it is zero only and your boolean expression for your carry will be ab plus bc in plus c in into a so same like that you can take for your sum also so that you can implement your full adder and make use of your truth table to uh, implement this by using logic gates hope this is clear for everyone if you find this useful you can share it with others thank you